Hi everyone, in this video I will answer some of the most frequently asked questions about the Flippad. So welcome to the Flippad FAQ. Hi everyone, my name is Axel. I'm a pro woodwind player from Germany and I designed the Flippad. I've been getting great feedback from uh, many customers from all around the world. And also some common questions came up uh, that I want to address in this video. So let's get right into it. Will it fit to my flute? Yes, like with any other flute head joint, the flip head or the neck of the flip head is able to be adapted to all different flutes that are out there. We ship the flip head with a diameter that fits most common flute brands. Um, if it sits too loose or too tight on your individual flute, it's an easy, quick job for your local store or repairman to get the head joint fitted to your individual flute. What's important is that it goes in all the way, like so. So you will have to be able to put it all the way in for a correct intonation. And uh, starting to control your pitch, you should be halfway out. This is a good starting point for uh, let's say warm or hot circumstances to be flexible enough to get the right intonation. What's the right playing position? You can adjust the neck and the mouthpiece by rotating to find your perfect uh, desired playing position, which can be straight in front of your body or slightly angled to the side, whatever you like best. Um, obviously you can rotate the mouthpiece 360 degrees to do that. Uh, also, the clip on thumb rest can be uh, moved up and down and left and right quite a bit to find a perfect, comfortable, ergonomic playing position. How do I clean the flip head? So for cleaning purposes, you will want to pull off the mouthpiece of the neck and you will find that the mouthpiece sits on these three white O-rings which can be replaced in case you lose one of them or they get worn out for whatever reason. Um, and after you've done cleaning, you can put them back on the neck and it's important to push it all the way until it comes to a slight stop uh, for correct intonation. Uh, you can use water to clean it and when you're done cleaning the mouthpiece and the neck, you can just use a mouthpiece or a saxophone neck swap to dry again. And there you go, easy to do. Are there sound differences between the flip head and the conventional flute head? So the flip head is not meant to mimic the classical flute sound. Uh, it's a fipple type mouthpiece, which produces a complete different sound than the normal conventional head joint does. Uh, it leans more towards like a recorder or an Irish low whistle, but combined with the flute body, or well, the C flute body, uh, it becomes its own instrument with more or less own unique characteristics in terms of sound and playability, unlike any other flute. I use both the uh, flip head and the conventional head for different genres, uh, same like I would use different sax mouthpieces for, let's say, classical sax playing and uh, uh, jazz or pop saxophone playing. Is it easy to play? To be honest, being a sax player myself, I find the flip head very easy to play. Um, much less complicated in terms of embouchure uh, than the usual conventional flute head. Uh, the tone production is very easy to learn, even for beginners. And uh, if you're an experienced flutist looking for new sounds, uh, you'll be able to play the flip head in practically no time. How do you play the low, middle and high register? So same with most woodwind instruments, we uh, control the speed and uh, amount of air to switch between low, middle and high register. We call that uh, technique overblowing. Um, and it feels pretty much like a Scottish or Irish low whistle. So in case you happen to have one or played one before, uh, the flip head pretty much feels like a low whistle. So you've got the warm and soft low register needing little air but obviously chromatic 
uh, you've got a sweet spot in terms of modulation and uh, uh, pitch and volume. Um, and then the, the middle register is achieved by the first step of overblowing. Gets a little louder, needs just a little more air. And for the high register, the higher we go up, we need more air and it gets a little louder. Well, we can go all the way up to the flute and all the way down to the C or to the low B. If we have a B foot flute, everything works. All notes are possible. Um, that's the way a fiple type mouthpiece works on any flute. In this case, it's chromatic. So that's quite a, uh, an advantage compared to uh, many other uh, diatonic or pentatonic flutes. Is it better than the conventional flute head? Uh, no, it's just different, I would say. Dynamically and in terms of sound modulation, the conventional head is very flexible, whereas the flip head offers a very quick approach to flute playing. It has a different playing position. Uh, it has its own characteristic sound, offering that woodiness, that airiness, a recorder or a whistle would give you, uh, but obviously being chromatic. And uh, yeah, it's just fun to play. So I think that's all about it. If you've got any more questions, please write them down in the comments below and hit the subscribe button. And also, if you like, hit the like button. Uh, other than that, thank you for watching. Bye bye.